Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another how to excel at excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the how to excel at excel newsletter which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox there's a link below in the description box there uh, and when you sign up you'll get my free ebook which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Hi Excelers, welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the days function to calculate the number of days between two dates that you would have in your Excel spreadsheet. Like if you need to know how long will it take a project to be completed or how long ago an event occurred or how long it is to an event the days function has you covered. So let's take a quick look at the days function. It's a short and snappy function. It only has two arguments. One or the first one is the end date and the second day is the start date. So these are the two dates which you want to know the number of days between. So let's work through an example. Um, let's look at how many days it is until the Wimbledon Championship starts. So today is the 30th of January. Wimbledon starts on the 27th of July 2022. So let's put in the equal sign and the days function. So the end date is in C4, which is the 27th of the 7th. And the start date is today. What we can do to make this function dynamic is actually use the today function for the start date. Let's close those parentheses off and hit OK. So currently from the 30th of January to the 27th of July is 178 days. So essentially we have a countdown calendar here of the days until the event. So this day for the end date remains static, which is the 27th of the 7th. But every day, this today function will take today's date. So tomorrow will be the 31st, it'll be 178, 177 days until the Wimbledon Championship. So that's it, just a really short Excel tip for you today. That's how to calculate the number of days between two days in Excel. And we use the days function. Today we combined it with the today function, which gave us our start date, which was today and the end date we used uh, the start of the Wimbledon Championship. I hope you enjoyed the tip. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, ring the notification bell. It really does help the channel. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll see you next time for another video.